a strong desire to never quit, no matter how big the odds are or how big Chicago is, all right? That doesn't matter. We're going to come out and we're going to punch him in the face. We are the best team in this league. And we're going to show up today by ground and pound and beating them into submission. They say, help me up. I say, hell no. Put your foot on their throat and don't take it off, even if they turn hurt. Today is our day. Today is our day of reign of terror on this league. This is a dream that you can work for. Tonight, the LFL's Western Conference champion will be crowned in Los Angeles. Hello again, LFL fans around the world. I'm your host, Chet Buchanan. He's the coach, Bobby Huco. And just driving into the arena tonight, we started to get fired up. It's the playoffs. It's the Western Conference Championship. Now you add in two teams in Chicago and LA that don't like each other very much. And they are two of the elite teams in all of the LFL. Tonight is going to be a great night. Without a doubt, Chet, a lot of people around the LFL think tonight's game is the real Legends Cup game. Two powerhouses going against each other. They're totally discounting Atlanta. I love Atlanta with their young quarterback. That's another game, another time. But for tonight, for LA to have any shot at victory, they have to control the clock, pound the rock, give it to their power back, Carmen Borso, get some yardage, which will open up that West Coast offense. The star quarterback, Ashley Salero, going to two star receivers, Jasmine Ben Loss, and my favorite, Kelly Schrader. There's no secrets in the Chicago Bliss attack. In fact, their head coach and offensive coordinator, Keith Hack, has come under some criticism lately for being too vanilla. It's Chris Dell Harris dive right, toss right, sweep right. But there's a reason why Chris Dell Harris, number 13, is called the Ferrari. Give her the ball, she accelerates just like that. She can stop on a dime. She can make those quick cuts and get outside. And once she does that and gets into open field, she can accelerate. She's got track star speed. She is tough to catch. Her success has turned into success for their fourth-year quarterback, Heather Rockstar Fur. She gets criticized for not having a real big arm. Their coach, Keith Hack, says she didn't need a big arm. We'll run the ball with Chris Dell Harris, then just do little check downs, little screen passes, little quick outs. And if we need to do go deep, well, then maybe we'll do that once in a while. They've got a great defense. They'll rely on that. It might remind some Chicago football fans of that Bears team that went to the Super Bowl against the Colts a few years ago. They also had a great defense. They had a great running back in Matt Forte, and they had a quarterback in Rex Grossman. Ah, kind of mediocre. I think the Bliss depend on Heather Rockstar Fur more than the Bears depended on Grossman. But with all of that in mind, can the Chicago Bliss win the Western Conference Championship tonight? And if they do get to the Legends Cup, can they win it all with a team like this? Perhaps. The running game, Eddie Chan's been studying in that Chicago running game, watching hours and hours and hours of film. He's designed some run blitz packages to shut down the Ferrari, and he says they're going to make the Ferrari a nice Audi tonight. It's going to be fun to watch. It just doesn't get any better than this. The Western Conference Championship, the LA Temptation, the Chicago Bliss. Your kickoff is next. Los Angeles, California. As the sun sets in the west, it's time for the Western Conference Championship. The LA Temptation, the Chicago Bliss, and a tremendous atmosphere inside the pirate ship. Chicago will kick off. The Temptation will get the ball first. Jessica Price will do the honors for the Chicago Bliss. Kelly Schrader is deep to receive for the Los Angeles Temptation. The LFL Western Conference Championship, it is on! Schrader takes the bounce at the seven. She's hauled down right about the 11, maybe the 12 yard line. Kim Perez made the stop for Chicago. I am so fired up, Chet. This is a battle of epic proportions. Two star quarterbacks. You have Heather Furr against Ashley Salerno. Her stats 10 out of 19, 203 yards, seven touchdowns, 108 rating. She has to play big. She always seems to play big in championship games or conference championships like tonight. She's had a tremendous year on the other side. That stout Chicago defense led by Nekanawani. 
first play for the LA Temptation from their own 12. Pitch to Carmen Borso. She's gonna have to fall on it. They'll lose a yard. They'll actually mark it back at the line of scrimmage. Let's beat the LA offense. Laura Barba, center. Sherry Awaga, offensive line. Danielle Harvey, tight end. Jasmine Binloss, wide receiver. Kelly Schrader, wide receiver. Carmen Borso, running back. Ashley Salerno, quarterback. The key to the game tonight is going to be Carmen Borso. She has to control the line of scrimmage and keep pounding against that Chicago defensive front. She'll get the ball on second down, gain of about three. That's Dominique Collins who was there for Chicago. This defense is tough. And now they've got LA in a third and long. It's tough, but Carmen Borso is tough. She's a classic downhill runner. She's great between the tackles. It's going to be a good competition to see if somehow the Chicago front can stop the All-Star runner. Third down and seven. Salerno on play action. Looking near side. Pass just out of the hands of Danielle Harvey. That pass was right on the money. It was a wheel route by Harvey coming off the line of scrimmage. Salerno put it right there. Harvey has to make that catch in a big game. Well, you're right, she put it right there. Chicago had that well defended. Salerno right on the money. Harvey can't pull it in. It'll bring up fourth down early in the first quarter of this Western Conference Championship. Well, that's what gunslingers do. They're not scared to throw it into coverage. She was double covered, but she put it right on the money. Salerno looking deep. Just out of the reach of the receiver. That was Joy Savella. We haven't called her name a whole lot this season. Well, that's probably why they're off. She's not used to throwing the ball to Savella. She was open, but she just slightly overthrew her. That could have been six, but it's a gamble on fourth down, going for the big one, Jet. LA goes for it out. Here comes Heather Furr in the Chicago offense. Heather Furr, not pretty when she throws the ball, but very effective. 16 out of 26, six touchdowns. She's a great leader. She doesn't throw as good a ball as Salerno, but she gets the job done. As we talked about in pregame, look for a steady diet of Crisdale Harris. She'll get the ball on first down. Met at the line of scrimmage, yards after contact. They'll give Crisdale four yards out to the 11-yard line. Scary Sherry Awaga and Michelle Angel were there for the LA Temptation D. Keith Hack has had his game face on all week. He's ready to play. The plan tonight to attack LA is really simple. We play a cover two defense, safety sitting on the hashes, the corners don't corner over. We're gonna go twins look, Christelle swinging out of the backfield with short, quick passes, We're gonna get her out in space. That's how you attack LA. Keith Hack is not scared to play LA. He's ready tonight. On second down, the Ferrari is taken down hard by Danielle Harvey and one of the best to ever play the game, Monique Gaxiola. Gaxiola, she had two major knee operations over the last couple of years, she's back. She'll need to have a big game tonight. Now with a third and three coming up, let's meet the Chicago Bliss offense. Kelly Jiskra, center. Nekawani, tight end. Dina Fagiano, tight end. Jess Price, wide receiver. Ali Alberts, wide receiver. Ferrari Harris, the running back. Heather Furr, the quarterback. Chet, there's no question this offense revolves around the legs and the wheels of Chris Del Harris. Boy, and she's hit hard. A two-yard loss on a third and three. Scary Sherry Awaga again with a little help from Chelsea Hart. Nobody blocked Awaga. Nobody up front blocked her. She came straight in, head on head, one-on-one -on, -one on Chris Del Harris, and she won that battle. Now the Chicago Bliss have a fourth down. Fourth and five from the LA 10 first quarter of the Western Conference Championship. I wouldn't be surprised at all. They give it to Harris again. They have so much confidence in her, even on fourth down. They will give it to Harris, fakes the reverse, running over defenders inside the five, down to the three. It's first and goal, Chicago. Kelly Schrader went for a ride right there. I can't blame her. She thought it was going to be a reverse. They faked the reverse. Watch this. They faked the reverse. Schrader goes for the fake and then gets pancaked by Chris Del Harris. What a run by Harris. Bulldoze, pancaked, taken for the ride. You can say all of those things about what Chris Del Harris just did to Kelly Schrader. First in goal from the three for Chicago. 
Defer on the option. The Ferrari to the goal line. Is she in? It's close, Jack. Very close. We're talking about it. They've announced her stop short of the goal line on first and goal. Option play by Fur. A little bit behind Harris, slowed her down. If she would have gotten the pitch out a little sooner, Harris would have gotten the end zone. I was waiting to see if they said if she had gotten the pylon or not. The referees were talking to each other. It looked like they might call touchdown. In any event, second and goal from the one inch line for the Chicago Bliss. Fur on the sneak, she's into the end zone. Touchdown Chicago, they're on top early. That play they've used all year long on the extra points. It has not been stopped, but this is what I like to see. The celebration Chicago, they're the best in the world at doing this. They're dropping the bomb on LA. Chicago strikes first in the Western Conference Championship. Heather first signaling that she'd like to go for two here. They have a pretty consistent play that they run. Let's listen in. Okay, we're doing that weird split thing. What do I do from that? Who am I throwing it to you? 26 shots, 26 shots. On two, on two, ready? Chicago put a couple new wrinkles in. Fur looks confused about what to do. They usually sneak it up the middle. LA was ready for that, but they jump offside. Fur got real lucky. They had a new wrinkle, but LA jumped. Offside. Number 13. Big break for Chicago. It will stay a two-point conversion from the one-yard line. I would not be surprised at all if they go back into their quarterback sneak mode where they went all year and it was very successful. She had called 26 toss the first time. This time they'll sneak it up the middle, Heather Fur into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. And early on in the Western Conference Championship, the Chicago Bliss come into the pirate ship and go up eight. Can LA strike back? We'll find out next. Back to Los Angeles, Sandy Western Conference Championship. Ashley Salerno, Danielle Harvey. The LA Temptation offense will start out at their own 15. They gotta get something going now, down eight early. This game is as advertised. Chicago pounds it all the way down for six, and Salerno off by just a few inches, or they would have had a touchdown. Carmen Borso on first down. She's hit hard by Nekadawani. They'll give her a one yard gain. That's generous. Let's beat the Chicago Bliss defense. Chantel Taylor, defensive end. Incredible Yashi, D in. Heather Fur, safety. Dominique Collins, defensive back. Kim Perez, cornerback. Ali Alberts, safety. Dina Fagiano, linebacker. It's going to be tough for L.A. to stop the premier end, Chantel Taylor and Yashi Rice. Yashi Rice involved again there as Borso gets three yards. Carmen Borso really coming into her own as a runner. I'm definitely more comfortable with my style as a running back. Chicago's really good at flowing to the ball, so I definitely have to be more physical and punish them on the point of impact. So far tonight, that Chicago front line is stuffing Carmen Borso. She hasn't broke one yet, and the quarter's almost over. Third and six for the LA offense as we come to the end of the first quarter. Fake the pitch to Borso. Down goes Salerno, the first sack of the night for the Chicago defense. Salerno tried to step up in the pocket. No space. Rice crushed her as Yashi Rice takes a bow. We have come to the end of the first quarter in Los Angeles. The Western Conference Championship. Chicago's up eight. Back to Los Angeles in the Western Conference Championship of the LFL. The Los Angeles Temptation on their own 15-yard line facing a fourth and 10. Heather Rockstar Fur and the Chicago defense waiting for it. What do you dial up here, coach? Must be a pass, obviously, with Salerno alone in the backfield. Salerno looking, can't find a receiver. Plenty of time, now she'll run. Gotta get to midfield, and she got there. First down, Los Angeles. Wow, that's Ashley Salerno being Ashley Salerno. Nothing there, all kinds of time. Great protection, great coverage by the secondary of Chicago. She makes something out of nothing and somehow gets the first down, Jet. 
Allie Albert shoved her out of bounds, but not before Salerno got 11 yards and an LA first down. Wow, Salerno's got great speed and strength, but more importantly, had something great right behind her ribs. What a heart to make that first down on fourth down. Incredible. First down just across midfield. It's Borso. No gain. Might have even lost a yard. She'll pick it up now with the second effort. But boy, they are really bottling up Carmen Borso. Nothing there. Their game plan was to take Borso out of the game, and they are swarm tackling her. They're destroying her, destroying the point of attack and the line of scrimmage. Dominique Collins again. Allie Alberts in on the stop. Second and 10 now. They called it no gain. That front line and linebacker core for Chicago is playing outstanding. Nawani, Rice, and Taylor, they're shutting down for in LA. And they've got this LA offense confused. They've called a timeout now. We'll take a timeout as well. Early second quarter of the Western Conference Championship, LFL football night. Back to Los Angeles for the Western Conference Championship. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Huco and Chicago coach Keith Hack has to like how the first half is going for his squad. Let's listen to what he's had to say about it. Hey, I told you. Hey, I told you. I told you, Broussard ain't shit. That running back ain't shit. So we're going to have to start throwing. Damn it. Fuck, we had him. Had him. They're not going to score. Don't let him score. Hey, listen, listen. Here's the deal. We hold him here. We go down and score at the end of the half. We get the ball first in the second half. Watch the quick slant. Watch the quick slant. Watch the quick slant. All right? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. This is it. On three. This is it, y'all. They win championship. Up. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense! Defense. Keith Hack, you gotta love this guy. He has that team believing in him. I've never seen him so happy. Usually he's upset at everybody. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? He just told that team, put your hands in here, we're gonna score again, we're gonna stop him right here and go score. I love it. I like Keith Hack an awful lot too. He's a straight shooter. And like you said, that's the happiest I think we've ever seen him. Second and 10 for Ashley Salerno in the LA offense at midfield. Reverse this time. Kelly Schrader, nothing doing. The Chicago defense again. Neck and Nawani, Chantel Taylor sniffed it out and stopped it. Chet, that looked like that play was all set up. Great blocking out front, but Allie Alberts and Chantel Taylor, they broke through all the blocking and watch closely. Looks like she grabbed her by the hair to help out, right? Yes, she did grab by the hair right there. Slowed her down, and then the defense warmed all over. A great play by Chicago. Neck and Nawani just came over, poof, knocked her over. Third and 10, and LA needs answers. Salerno will throw, finds a receiver wide open. She's got Jasmine Finn lost for 13 yards and a first down. Great protection up front. Watch this, Mac protection. Delivers a strike to Finlaw. Good move by Finlaw to get the extra yardage she needed to get the first down. Could this be the play that gets the LA Temptation offense going? Sometimes they look completely lost. Other times they look like the offense that we've seen all year. Well, they have a champion at quarterback. I mean, she's a leader. She's not scared of anybody. She always comes through with big plays. She over and over, she always comes through. First town of the Chicago 11, that's Carmen Borso. Hard yards inside the five. It's a seven yard game. They'll mark it at the Chicago four. For a big bag, Borso really has speed to burn. Everybody thinks she just pounds three yards in a cloud of dust, but you saw her speed right there for seven yards. LA can get a first down by getting to the one yard line, but obviously they'd like to punch the ball into the end zone here. Second down and three from the Chicago four. This looks like the old LA offense we're used to seeing. Passing, running, to moving right down the field. Schrader in motion. They'll run to that side with Porcel. Down to the one yard line. Is she in? No, stopped just short of the goal line. But that's enough for a first down. First and goal, Los Angeles. They bring the wide out on a crack back block on the end. Watch the wide out come in. Cracking back, Porcel cuts in. Looks like she's gonna get in. They pull her down just short of the, end of the goal line. Heather Rockstar first, saved the touchdown. It is first and goal LA from the one. 
halfway through the second quarter of this Western Conference Championship. Borso stopped at the goal line. The referees say no, no game. Now this is hard to do. To stand up, Carmen Borso like that. A great play by Deandra Fry. Meets her right at the one yard line, stands her up, and holds her out of the end zone. Wow. She let her know about it getting out of the pile too. Second and goal now. I don't think you can hold Borso out of the end zone more than one time. Salerno tries the sneak. Did she get in? She reached across the goal line. The referee says her knee was down. Wow, I think she got in. She stretched it to break the plane. This crowd is going nuts. Looks like the looks like six to me. Let's look at it. She Watch gets the enough knee. right there, dives outside. The They're saying the knee was down. I think it broke the plane. It's pretty sharp eyes by that line judge to be able to say that that player is down before the ball got across the goal line. Why wouldn't Eddie Chan challenge this? This is a big, big touchdown. He figures it'll go in on third and goal. Flag on the play. Borso can't get in. It'll bring up a fourth down. There's a flag on the play. I don't know what this is. I'm really shocked that Chan did not challenge that last one. They didn't blow the play dead, so it must be offside on the defense. Offside. Number 19, the Newton Grove snap. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat third down. Third and goal, here we go. Look how close that is to the goal line. Coach Hack, he doesn't, I mean, I wouldn't be confident you can hold this team out of the end zone. That ball is almost touching the goal line. And you got Carmen Borso as your running back. They've stopped her twice now, though. Third and goal from about the six inch line. Again, the LA Temptation down a touchdown and a two point conversion in this Western Conference Championship. Salerno on play action. Flushed out of the pocket, there's a hold. And there's a sack, Salerno goes down. Another flag on the play. I'm telling you, they finally called holding. I don't understand this call. You're on the inch line. You try a play action pass, nothing's there. Chantel Taylor with an outstanding play to bring Salerno down. The officials have a couple to choose from here. Let's get the official call. Uh, Carmen's out. We're going to go new crazy. It's going to be a corner, okay? Corner route. Eddie Chan calling for a corner route. Carmen is, Carmen is out of the game. I can't believe it was first and goal on the one yard line. And then they got it down to the one inch line. And now it's back to the seven yard line and they're calling a corner route. And they're still confused about what they want to do. The LA Temptation have had no answers for Chicago here in the first half of this Western Conference Championship game. You can tell that Coach Hack is excited. His team's excited. Chet, if they can hold them right now, this might be the greatest defensive stance I personally have seen in my five years in the LFL. Eddie Chan, on the other hand, he's got to be kicking himself in the butt. He had it first and goal on the one yard line with a runner like Carmen Borso in the backfield. And now it's fourth and goal from the seven. What do you call here? For the record, we were talking to both coaches early in the week. Eddie Chan almost seemed a little too confident. We're gonna manhandle them. The Chicago defense isn't that great. Carmen Borso's gonna run them over. Ashley Salerno's gonna go up top. None of that has happened in the first half here. Well, just look at the players, the intensity in the Chicago huddle and in the offensive huddle of Los Angeles, just not the same feeling. The Los Angeles offense comes back on the field. Fourth and goal from the seven yard line. This could really be a turning point in the game right now. Salerno in the gun. She will throw under pressure. Now she'll step up, she'll try to run. She'll now try to throw, but she's way over the line of scrimmage. There's the flag. Chicago's defense will hold on fourth down. They'll take over. What a defensive stop by Chicago. Maybe one of the greatest ever I've seen in the LFL. So with no answers on offense, now the LA defense has to figure out how to stop Chris Dell Harris. We actually plan to change up our defense tonight in order to stop Chris Dell. We're gonna fill the A gap, shoot the B gap. I'm playing strong safety, so we just plan to keep hitting her all night until she can't get up. 
Mo Gaxiola, one of the greatest ever to play this game in the LFL, is certainly not scared of Harris, but somehow they have to contain her. On first down from their own seven, the Ferrari goes six yards right up the middle, out to the Chicago 13. But with that, we're at the two minute warning of the first half. Get this, LA went 13 plays, 28 yards, seven minutes, 12 seconds, and came up empty. Chicago remains up eight. Taking a look at the Grove in Los Angeles as we come back inside the Pirate Ship, the Western Conference Championship, Chicago over LA, eight to nothing. Sure seems like it ought to be a lot more, shouldn't it? Absolutely, Chicago is taking it to LA. That defensive stop right there, I can't tell you how big that was. On second and four, swing pass to the Ferrari. She's met right as she catches the ball. Agam Chijindu and a little extra after the play. The LA offense can't get it done, so the LA defense with some extracurriculars. They are not going to be intimidated. They want Chicago to know that they're still in this ball game. That's one player you don't want to get upset. Agam Chichindu, one of the most feared players in the LFL. Watch her come up. They throw the little screen pass over here in the flat. Here comes Chichindu, you don't go one-on-one on one with her. Chelsea Hart coming in, the great player from Cal State Fullerton. That's the kind of play LA needs to get their momentum back. Can that be the play that sparks them? It feels like I've said this at least five or six times in the first half. Can that be the play that sparks LA? Play game on the offense. Five-yard penalty, third down. That's ridiculous because there was all of this going on. Of the play, you girls get back to your huddle. But, it's, but if it's LA's fault, then we're you over there. You guys are all running over. You guys ran over there on the other side. We're not doing it. Heather Furr making the wrong argument right there. The quarterback has to watch the play clock. It's not about who's fighting, who's getting arguments. The quarterback has to watch the play clock. I kind of thought she made a good point, but I see what you're saying. Not a good point at all. That's why you're the coach, and that's why I sit in this chair. Thank Makes you, it Chet. third and ten now for Chicago. Back to their own seven. Misdirection play. Nice run here for Dina Fagiano out towards midfield. And more rough stuff from LA after the play. I love Dina Fagiano. Every game she makes a big play. She plays with so much emotion. What a cutback to get outside. She's not known as a running back, but she understands her role with this team and she does it well. LA can do the rough stuff once the play is over, but Dina Fagiano gets a 15-yard gain out to the Chicago 22. It's first down now with just under a minute remaining, the first half of the Western Conference Championship. LA is still only down one score. Rockstar Fur swings it out again to the Ferrari. She's got room to run. She's got nothing but green in front of her. Touchdown, Chicago! What a play, what a pass by Heather Furr. Now watch Nick and Dewani. She takes out the corner, it opens up the whole side for Crisdell Harris. Just as I said, LA's only down one score. Within a second, they're up two scores. What a play by Chicago and Heather Furr. The LA Temptation have no answers. No answers on offense, no answers on defense. Chicago is doing exactly what they want to do here. They'll go for one. Watch for Heather Furr, the quarterback sneak. She'll do it, she gets stopped. LA was waiting for it that time. The one point conversion is no good. Although Heather thinks she got in, she did get in. Wow! Mo Gaxiola is going crazy. She thinks it was a stop, she's going nuts. A lot of frustration on that LA team right now. It looked like they had her bobbled up at the line of scrimmage. Nothing going LA's way in the first half of this Western Conference Championship. Jet, I can't tell you how well designed that touchdown pass was. They throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, allowing Nek and Nawani to go outside and take the corner back out, open up the whole side of the field for Chris Del Harris. LA had a nice drive. They got a lot of yards. They couldn't put any points on the board. They'll try to do it right here. Salerno throws to no one. Passes incomplete. Nobody there. It looks like a lot of frustration, as I just mentioned, is with LA right now. That is not like Salerno. This is a former MVP, former MVP of the, of the Legends Cup. Throwing the ball, nobody there right now. She's trying to get points quick, but she still has 45 seconds. 
in the LFL, that's a lot of time to move down the field. Second down now. Salerno will throw again. She'll go deep again, this time with a receiver. Joy Savella had gotten behind the defense. Kim Perez made a great play to catch up. There's not many players in the LFL as talented at cornerback as Kim Perez. Great pass by Salerno, right on the money, but Perez closed, waited to the last second, got her hand up and broke it up. Outstanding play by Kim Perez. 36 seconds left to go in the first half. LA down two scores, facing a third and 10. Pump fake, throw long again for Salerno. No receiver, we'll just call it passing complete. She might have been looking for bin loss. Nobody really in the area of that pass. What happened there? Great coverage again by Chicago. Allie Albert had her smothered. Nobody was open, just like the previous play. Kim Perez, this secondary is smothering this offense. And the LA offense again facing a fourth down and long. Fourth and 10. Jet Chicago came to play tonight. Keith Hack has this team ready. Referee's whistle and Salerno's not happy. Legal substitution on the offense. Eight players in the field. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Chet, you got to blame the coaching staff. Eddie Chan didn't have the right personnel. They got called for an extra player on the field. The good thing about Ashley Salerno, she's a gunslinger. She, these penalties, she doesn't care. She has the gun, probably the best gun ever in the LFL. She can score at any time. She'll need that gun here on fourth and 15. Play action, rolling out, throwing deep. Has been lost, touchdown Los Angeles! They needed a big play, they got a big play. The pirate ship crowds back into it, LA's back into it. This place is going bananas. What a play, we talked about Salerno and her gun. Wide open in the end zone, she throws it the length of the field on fourth down. L.A. couldn't have come up with a score at a better time. They got their mojo back. Kim Perez, who looked so good to play before, gets torched for 40 yards and an L.A. touchdown. The one thing you do not want to do is awaken the sleeping bear, Ashley Salerno. Get her fired up and she can score quickly. Watch out for her in the second half. L.A. goes for one. Carmen Borceau is smothered at the five-yard line. Chantel Taylor made the hit for Chicago. The conversion is no good. 15 to six, but one big play does not right all the wrongs of the first half. Chet, you're absolutely right, but you can tell the momentum has changed. Look at Keith Hack. Now he's back to the angry man that we love. And he is scary when he's angry, Chet. Well, he doesn't like seeing his all-star quarterback get burned for 40 yards. They thought they were gonna go in your right with a shutout at halftime and bam, Ashley Salerno lights you up and what you don't wanna do is get LA on a run and it looks like it might be happening. Well, let's see if rock star Heather Furr and Chris Dell Harris can stem the tide here. She dropped that, that's just incomplete. It'll be second down with 19 seconds left to go. LA certainly not missing an opportunity to get a couple extra shots in on the Ferrari. Look at Mo Gaxio. It looks like LA's got that swagger back, which you'd like to see coming from the temptation. Heather Fur looks confused right now. Could be a different second half. A rare miscue for the Chicago offense here in the first half. Fur will step up. Looked like she was going to run. There's a flag down. LA takes another cheap shot. Chelsea Hart gets another lick in on the quarterback. Kelly Schrader has the football. Let's try and get all of this sorted out with the officials here. Once again, referee Jeff Davis. Holy, number three on the offense. Half the distance. Second down. Neka Nawani got called holding right there. Chicago needs to regroup. They don't look like the same team we saw most of the first half. Look at Coach Hack. He's still angry. Heather Fur looking a rattled. The offensive line getting caught holding. This is just what Chicago doesn't need right now. And right now, it's up to the quarterback to get her team calmed down. Let's listen in. Okay, we're going strong right, 21 dive. Girls, stop fucking around. Don't let them get in your head. Let's get our shit together. On one-on-one, -on -one. ready? 
that's a sign of a great leader. The reigning MVP of the LFL, keeping her team together. Second and 17, handoff to the Ferrari. Breaks a tackle. Wow, big hit there. Up high, Agam Chijindu. She is not messing around. And that is going to run out the clock on the first half. Coach Hack is livid. He wants that to be a personal foul for a shot to the head. At the end of the half. And Coach Hack is not going to get the call he was looking for. Hey! She better knock that shit off. She punched her in the face. Hey, and when we talked about that, face. she's out for a series. If we talked about it, she's out for a series. This is bullshit. You know the I know. Fuck I did. At least Warner. I did. I did. Keith Hack is 100% right. The official was wrong. You can't just take a shot to the head like that without throwing the flag. Well, they didn't announce it and they didn't throw the flag, but apparently the defender is out for a series. Keith Hack having fun with the crowd at the pirate ship. And why not? His team is up at halftime of the Western Conference Championship. Chicago bulldoze in LA. We'll be back with halftime festivities we're 16 minutes away from finding out who will play Atlanta in the Legends Cup. We know what they're going to do, when they're going to do. It's up to us to make the fucking tackles and stops. Offense get back on, and we score. Make the stop on defense, we score, and we stop them again. This game is not fucking over. Back inside the pirate ship in Los Angeles, I'm Chet Buchanan. He's the coach, Bobby Kufko, halftime of the Western Conference Championship. This game is not out of hand. It's only 15 to six, but it feels like it's been all Chicago. LA had the ball for the end of the first quarter and the majority of the second quarter. Seven minutes and 12 seconds on that drive. They only covered 28 yards and got zero points. It really does feel like Chicago's in control. Absolutely, Chet. We talked about it in the pregame. They're running back. Their star running back, Carmen Borso, needed to have a big game. So far, it's not happening. She only has 17 yards on eight carries, a 2.1 average, not going to cut it. Their star quarterback, Ashley Salerno, two out of eight. The stats don't look good, but she had a big strike at the end of the half to bin loss to bring it back in the ball game. But the big key telling drive of the night was LA's, where they get down there first and goal from the one-yard line. They get stopped on four consecutive plays by Chicago. It was the turning point. The momentum went out of the game. They have to somehow retain that intensity to come back to win this game. They, they went backwards on that drive. That was that seven-minute drive that we were talking about. For Chicago, as advertised, it's been a lot of Chris Dell Harris. She's had seven touches in the first half, 33 yards of offense. We'll check the stats in just a couple of minutes. But really, you'll see that's been nearly half of Chicago's offensive output. The quarterback, rock star Heather Furr, she does what Heather Furr does. Two out of three short passes, dump downs, easy passes. She's not trying to throw the ball deep, managing the game, and that's how Chicago wins. Not a lot of scoring. After a big run with about 248 left in the first quarter, the Ferrari got him down to the goal line. Rockstar Heather Fur punched it in from a yard out. After the two-point conversion, it's 8-0 Chicago. Then, short time later, talking about those short passes, Heather Fur dumps it down to the Ferrari. Rack up the yak. Yards after catch, 28 yards to the house. The Chicago lead is 15. And as you mentioned, Coach, the LA offense woke up with about 40 seconds left in the half. Look at this beautiful pass from Ashley Salerno to Jasmine Bindloss, 15 to six. And where has that offensive output been the whole night for Los Angeles? Let's take a look at the first half stats. A little misleading. LA is leading in time of possession, but that's only because Chicago scored so quickly. On fourth down conversions, LA is only two out of four, while Chicago is 100%. As I mentioned, LA's intensity has to come sky high for them to win in the second half. Will Chicago put their foot on the gas and just coast to a Legends Cup? Or will Los Angeles make the necessary halftime adjustments and get back to the place that they feel they belong, having won three of these before? 16 minutes left of football to decide who will play Atlanta in the Legends Cup. Your second half kickoff is coming up next. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Hugo back in Los Angeles for the Western Conference Championship. 
Close on the scoreboard, not close in the stats. Let's see how the quarterbacks match up here. Heather for two out of three, only 27 yards. Salerno kind of deceiving, two out of eight, but she's been accurate. And of course she had that quick strike touchdown pass to Ben Loss. Salerno will kick off for Los Angeles to start the second half. DeAndra Fry is back deep for Chicago. The Western Conference Championship second half is on. Over Fry's head and into the stands, it'll be a touchback. The Chicago offense will start out at their own 15-yard line. DeAndra Fry can fly. She can, air speed's unbelievable, but obviously her depth perception, not good. The ball went right over her head. Yeah, that was interesting. You'd think she'd put her heels on the goal line and go from there. It seemed like she was a couple of yards up. Ball just went right over her head. A lot of notorious receivers known for their speed, but not hands, like in your era, Bob Hayes or Ronaldo Nehemiah. That looked like Fry right there. Bully Bob Hayes? I read about him once. Chris Dell Harris on first down, out across the 20, running over her own ball players, and she'll get, let's call it eight yards on first down, out to the 23. Solid stats again for Harris. Not huge numbers, but her 4.4 average, I'll take that any day of the week. The marker down at the 22 yard line, only a seven yard gain, makes it second and three. Chelsea Hart trying to get the signal from the sideline. She was a great athlete, Jed, at Cal State Fullerton. I know you've done your research, Coach. What sorority was she in? She was in Gamma Phi Beta, known for its athletes, Jed. I wouldn't even think to question you. Handoff, end around. Allie Alberts, she's dragged down. Chelsea Hart makes the play again for the LA Temptation D. Chelsea Hart playing the game of her life tonight. She's all over the field. Watch this. She doesn't go for the fake on the reverse. She stands her ground. What a play by Chelsea Hart. Chelsea Hart made a prediction on Twitter earlier this week. She said the LA Temptation would win 40 to 12. Obviously that part's not gonna come true, but she's fired up. She was talking smack all week long. A lot of time left, the way LA's playing, they're starting to perk up. They gave her a yard gain, third and two, inside handoff. Chris Dell Harris swarmed under in the backfield. Chelsea Hart again, along with Monique Gaxiola. Chelsea Hart playing with a lot of heart, not great technique. She went up high, put her in a headlock and brought her down. She's got this crowd fired up here at the Pirate Ship. She only has four tackles on the season, but just that series, she had three in a row, Chet. Crowd on their feet in Los Angeles. Down nine, a fourth and two for Chicago. Big play for LA. Pitch to the Ferrari, first down and more. Pushed out of bounds by Ashley Salerno at the 16 yard line. And the Ferrari says, hey Salerno, that's a first down. Watching Harris is worth the price of admission. Kelly Schrader is actually there on the corner, but she is a catch tackler, meaning she's waiting for the runner to attack her and kind of fall back. If you attack the runner, you stop her at the line of scrimmage. And Chelsea Hart was stuck on the other side of the field, couldn't make her fourth tackle in a row. Now the LA defense has to step up. Their back's against the wall. First and 10 Chicago at the LA 16. Harris has a big motor in the second half. She usually picks up her game. Misdirection on first down. Nekanawani to the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Nekanawani, Coach Hack, loves her as a player. Thinks she's going to be a superstar in the LFL. Just with all the talent on this team, she doesn't get a lot of recognition. She has all the skills, Chet. 21-6. Chicago, they quiet the crowd at the pirate ship yet again. I love the design of the play too. Everybody think Harris is gonna get the ball going left. They give it to Nawani underneath going right. Nobody was there. With her talent, she walked into the end zone. One point conversion attempt for Chicago. And they do sneak it again with Heather Rockstar first. She's into the end zone. It's 22-6 Chicago. Rockstar letting the fans know it here in LA. When she gets her mojo going, watch out. She is a winner. She knows how to control her team. She knows how to screw with the crowd. I love Rockstar Heather Fur. That big smile, she looks like an LA superstar, but tonight she's breaking LA's hearts. The mojo is back with Chicago. Eddie Chan, he just doesn't look fired up. Somehow, Ashley Salerno 
I mean, she is the best I've ever seen in this league. She has to answer the call right there, stop the bleeding, and get L.A. back on the scoreboard. And you're right, Coach. It really does feel like they need to do it right here. First and 10 from their own 15. Designed run for Salerno. She gets popped right at the line of scrimmage. No game, Dominique Collins again for the Chicago defense. They tried this quarterback draw at the end of the second half and they got nothing. Here it is again. Dominique Collins waiting for Salerno. They got to throw that play away. Second and 10. Under four to go in the third quarter of the Western Conference Championship. L.A. needing a score here to stay in it. Fake the pitch, under pressure, found a wide open receiver. She caught the ball between her legs. Danielle Harvey makes the reception, hangs on, eight yard gain out to the 23. Wow, a circus catch by Harvey. They did a fake sweep to the right. Harvey came down like she was blocking, then released out in the flat wide open. She should have got more yardage than that, but luckily she still caught the ball. With a very important third and two coming up just shy of midfield, LA will call timeout. They need a score because Chicago is up three scores in the Western Conference Championship. Back to Los Angeles where the LA Temptation need to convert the first down and definitely need a score on this drive. Down 22 to six, they've got a third and two at their own 23 yard line. Carmen Borsell, hit, she'll get the first down and more, make it a five yard gain to the 22. Carmen Borsell, not a good night at all for her. The stats we're not used to seeing, 2.1 average yet. We're used to over five every game. A good lead block there by Schrader allows her to get the three yards and the first down. Borso's first carry of the second half. Puts LA in business at the Chicago 22 yard line. Down 22 to six, clock running late in the third quarter. Salerno looking to throw. Over the middle and the pass is caught by Kelly Schrader. That's a 14 yard gain inside the 10. First and goal, LA. Salerno is a wily veteran. She finds time, moves around in the pocket as well as anybody. Finds Schrader coming back on a hook pattern, throws it low so the defender cannot touch it. Great play by Ashley Salerno. That's as comfortable as Salerno has looked all night. Even though she got flushed out of the pocket, it didn't seem to rattle her. She bought her time, found a receiver, first and goal. Carmen Borsell just can't get anything going tonight. They'll give her a one yard gain to the seven. Kim Perez made the hit for Chicago. What a play by Perez. She fought off the blocker, held the blocker in front of her, and then Slid her off, went right up, and made a great tackle on Bourseau. Bourseau, like you said, Jet, is getting nothing tonight. And she's not getting any help either. They're not opening any holes for her every time she runs the ball. She's met at the line of scrimmage by somebody who's not blocked. What's that say? Yashi Rice and Chantel Taylor, as always, having a big game. Find out what the whistle is here. First charge, out of the half, Chicago. Chicago calls timeout as LA has a second and goal at the seven yard line. They had a pass play dialed up there. Keith Hack would like to talk about it with his team. He looks happy again. I don't know if that's good or bad, Jet, but his, his defense is playing great tonight. Holding one of the premier running backs in the game, or so, to 17 yards in the first half, that's just incredible. The whole team is playing well tonight. They look like a team that could be a championship team. You gotta wonder what Atlanta thinks watching this, and obviously plenty of football left to play, but Chicago looks strong. Salerno, she'll throw to the end zone, has a receiver, touchdown Los Angeles! Scary Sherry Oaga! Scary Sherry, watch this, she waits, the blitz comes, there's the blitz, she breaks out the hot receiver, great read by Salerno, wide open in the end zone, LA back in this game. How about if I give myself some advice? Let's not count out the LA temptation just yet. 22 to 12, they're back within 10 points, still plenty of time left, they'll go for the one point conversion here. Eddie Chan is a great X's and O's coach, I'm telling you, this team is not out of this game. 
correction. They'll go for the two-point conversion. The ball's on the three. Salerno will throw just out of the hands of Kelly Schrader. Great defensive play there by Ali Alberts again. The ball was there. I'm surprised Schrader didn't come down with it. But you're right, Ali Alberts came in late and actually punched the ball out of Schrader's hands. Yeah, hard for Schrader to come down with that when Ali Alberts' hand is in there as well. And Ali Alberts is a great receiver on offense. That's just two players, two great players going one-on-one. -on -one. Good football. As expected in a matchup of two titans of the LFL, Los Angeles will just not go away. They do have the heart of a champion, and they're showing it here. They have every reason to give up. They have the monster wolf on defense, Mo Gaxiola. She never gives up. It's going to be a fun fourth quarter. As we wind down to the end of the third, Chicago starts on their own 15. Ball is on the ground, recovered by Chicago. It looked like there was a reverse, and that's why Ali Alberts was in just the right spot. Otherwise, that could have been disastrous. The ball is behind. It looked like Chris Del Harris actually was going to do a fake like a handoff. The ball went behind her. I'm not sure if that pitch was supposed to go directly to Ali Alberts or not, but this is what Chicago did all year long, remember? They would have fumbles in inopportune times. They can't start doing that now. Up 10 as we reach the end of the third quarter. Is that the time for the trick play? He was going for the juggler, but no, that's not the right time, Chet. Could have been disastrous, but wasn't. LA clawing their way back in. We've got one quarter left to decide who goes to the Legends Cup. Los Angeles, California is the site of the Western Conference Championship. We are inside the pirate ship where the LA Temptation trying to fight their way back. It's been all Chicago all night long. They have a 10 point lead in the ball as we start the fourth quarter. Chet Buchanan and Bobby Huco. Chicago on their own four with a second and 21. They'll get some of that back passes complete to Ali Alberts out to the 13. Heather Furr is not pretty all the time as a passer, but very effective. Her second choice coming across the middle on an eight yard dagger pattern. Ali Alberts, great throw by Furr, and it makes it now a very makeable third and 12. Alberts made a great catch against her thigh as Ashley Salerno hit her just as the ball arrived. As you said, coach, third and 12, they're on their own 13 yard line. Big play here for the Chicago offense. Fur has to be very careful where she throws it. She won't throw it, she'll pitch it to the Ferrari. Chris Del Harris breaks through the defense and she is gone! Touchdown, Chicago! Wow, unbelievable run by Chris Del Harris. She is gonna rewrite the LFL record books by the time her career is over. Do a little extracurricular dance right there, I love that. And why not? You just went 37 yards to the house. What a block downfield by Allie Alberts, again on Kelly Schrader, which broke it wide open for Chris Del Harris. Eddie Chan does not like seeing him dancing in his pirate ship, especially kid play. You knew that was the kid in play. You saw that when it happened the first time, not when LeBron and, and D. Wade did it. I know what you're saying. I'm right going to tell you what, the Bliss did it way better than LeBron. One point conversion. Burr trying to roll out. Shovel pass to the end zone. It's incomplete. The score remains 28-12. Chicago is playing like defending champions, Jet. 28-12 in Los Angeles in the black and silver pirate ship. Keith Hack, very happy right now. A hot Ashley Salerno can score 16 points like that. Absolutely. That's why LA is never out of it. You're so right. She'll get her chance now with 6.40 to go in the ball game. First and 10 at her own 15. Salerno over the middle, knocked away by Nekanawani. The pass might have been behind Kelly Schrader. Schrader could have settled in the hole and she would have been wide open. Ashley Salerno tonight, her stats don't look great. Five out of 12, 
but the two touchdown passes, a rating of 104, not bad, Chet. Is that how you get the rating of 104 when you're five of 12 is the two touchdown Absolutely. passes? Absolutely, just keep throwing touchdowns. Second and 10 for Ashley Salerno as the clock ticks in the fourth quarter. 6.20 now in the Western Conference Championship. Salerno to throw again. Under pressure, throws deep. Picked off, Kim Perez intercepts Salerno. She's hauled down at the five yard line by Kelly Strader. Chicago has the ball back. Kim Perez better go give Dominique Collins a hug. Serious pressure on Salerno. She couldn't get everything on that pass. It was short. Perez makes a huge interception, but credit that one to Dominique Collins up front. And that makes up for getting torched right at the end of the first half. Perez with a huge interception. Chicago has the ball back with six minutes left to play and a 16-point lead. Kim Perez, her ability to be around the ball is just uncanny, Chet. First down at their own five. Hand off to the Ferrari. She'll pick her way out to the 10-yard line. They'll give her the 11, six yards on the game. Monique Gaxiola makes the stop for LA. The story of the game thus far, Chet, might be that LA cannot stop the Ferrari. And on the other side, they're running back, LA's running back, Carmen Borso, is not doing anything tonight. Chicago is able to stop Borso. Absolutely. LA is not able to stop the Ferrari. After six yards on first down, it's a second and four. Clock ticking down towards five minutes. Play action. Fur. Will she run? No, now she'll throw. Is she across the line? That pass is complete to Allie Alberts. She's still on her feet. Down inside the five, whistles blowing. Where are they gonna mark it? There is a flag on the play. Now, great heads up play by Fur, but the ball, the line of scrimmage was the 11. She threw it from the 12 over the line of scrimmage. Great heads up play, great play by Alberts, but it's coming back. The referee's not right there. That play should be loss of down if she was across the line of scrimmage. Great play by Fur, making something out of nothing, except she was one yard over the line of scrimmage. What an effort, though, by Allie Alberts. Alberts didn't go out of bounds there. That was a big game that's coming back. The referee just corrected himself a second ago. It will be third down and seven yards to go as Chicago is back to their own eight yard line. Mo Gaxiola has to get this LA defense up. They don't look fired up yet right now. They have to stop Chicago right now. And most importantly for Los Angeles, we're getting down towards four and a half minutes to go in the ball game. A reverse to Allie Alberts. She'll cut it up through the middle. Not a lot there. Give her three yards out to the 11. That's a tough play to do against a team like LA with, they have great team speed. Reverses, they don't get caught. They have the speed to catch up. In fact, it never got a chance to go outside. Alberts had to cut it up two yards after receiving the football. She thought she saw the hole up the middle. Maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. Fourth down now for Chicago. They really need to convert. That could seal the deal right here. If not, LA just keeps hanging around with a chance to stay in it. Pitch to Crisdell Harris. She'll get the first down. Just barely out to the 16 yard line. The Chicago drive stays alive. You see, they went right at Kelly Schrader again. As I mentioned, she's kind of a soft corner as opposed to Chelsea Art, who comes up strong. They went right at her, and she went on skates a little bit. Chicago got the first down. Drive continues as we get down to three and a half minutes left to go. The winner of tonight's game faces Atlanta in the Legends Cup next week, right back here in this very building. Heather Furr, all she wants to do right now is give the ball to Chris Del Harris and grind the clock down. On first down, the counter play to the Ferrari. She'll lose a yard as she slipped down. Sherry Awaga was there to meet her. Second and 11. Grass grows, birds fly. Sherry Awaga just beats people up. She sure does. There are two Chicago players down on the turf. We'll take a timeout with 3.01 left to go. Chicago up by 16 with the ball, hoping to earn a trip to the Legends Cup. 
3.01 left to go here in Los Angeles in the Western Conference Championship of the LFL. Chicago with a 16 point lead and the ball. Chris Del Harris is back up after being shaken up on the play, as was Dina Fagiano. It's second and 11 for Chicago. They're at their own 15 yard line. Chad, a champion is someone who gets up when they can't. Both players from Chicago, they're both champions. They both got up. Mo Gaxiola and the LA defense, they need a stop here. They need it in a hurry. On second and 11, Fur will throw. She's flushed out of the pocket. Looking deep, she'll throw deep. Has a receiver wide open. Jessica Price down to the LA five yard line. A 30 yard gain, first and goal, Chicago. Just when you don't think they're gonna throw the ball, especially throw deep, especially Heather Fur. People around the league say she doesn't have a strong arm. Really, did you see that pass, Jet? Strong enough right there. Wow, what a pass by Fur. First and goal as we head toward the two minute warning. This could be the nail in the coffin right here. Chicago will let the clock tick down to the two minute warning. They have a first and goal from the five yard line and their ticket for the Legends Cup is about to be punched. Who says the rock star can't throw deep? Two minutes left to go and Chicago's looking to slam the door. Third Street Promenade on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles. LFL football night and the Legends Cup is next week. And if this score holds, it looks like the Chicago Bliss will be going to take on the Atlanta Steam in the Legends Cup. Dakota Hughes and the Ferrari next week right here at Citizens Business Bank Arena. Dakota Hughes, what a year the rookie is having. Her motto is, if you believe it, the mind can achieve it. They'll be big underdogs, but it wouldn't shock me if they win that thing. She has been clutch all year long. Can she do it again? Christelle Harris has been clutch all year long, and she walks into the end zone for another Chicago touchdown. Nobody on the outside for Los Angeles. A basic sweep. Fur makes a little block right there, but no corners coming up. Uh-oh, here we go, Chet. A little message for the crowd at the pirate ship. Chet, that was not for the pirate ship. That was directed right at the LA bench, and you know what that sign means, don't you, Chet? Ain't nobody looking on the LA bench. They don't want to see it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to know about it. Chicago will go for the one-point conversion here to go up 35-12. They'll try that reverse with Allie Alberts again. And boom! Ashley Salerno. Does that play look familiar, Coach? Almost the same spot on the field. Last year, Ashley Salerno, when she was running the football, ran right through Allie Alberts and pretty much knocked her out. I can't believe she got the return on Salerno right there. Karma is for real on that one. Wow. Salerno coming off the field holding her left hand. That is her non-throwing hand. Nothing worse than losing by a bunch in your home building in the Western Conference Championship and having your star quarterback getting hurt. Your star quarterback is out. Bring in Michelle Angel, who hasn't played pretty much all year. I just don't see LA coming back. You see the rock star Heather Fur having fun with the pirate ship crowd. Now Angel in a quarterback for LA. She'll throw, almost intercepted, knocked down at the line. Angel not off to a good start, but what are you gonna do? You gotta have her throw. She's rusty, she's got skills, Chad. I've seen her in warm-ups and all that. She can play, but this is not a great situation for her. Angel to throw again. Wisely she'll run, out across the 20-yard line. Pulled out of bounds close to midfield. It's an 11-yard gain and a first down for Los Angeles. Michelle Angel can run and she can throw, but LA needs a lot more magic than Michelle Angel. Maybe Chris Angel will show up. He might be able to pull this out. Well, with only a minute 41, let's get them all in then. Maybe they need to be touched by an angel. Maybe they need angels in the outfield. You got any more? I do, my favorite movie of all time, Angels in the End Zone with Chris Lloyd. How about that, bro? And with that, I would say you win, sir. Well played. Great movie. First down, L.A. Michelle Angel, she's going to wing it deep, and she's going to get picked off. Allie Alberts made the interception, returns the ball out towards midfield. 
Kiera Patterson is throwing combinations of punches. They're talking a lot of trash. They're upset that they got beat. Here's the pass. She underthrows it. She steps up in the pocket, just didn't get enough on it. It floated out there like a duck. Allie Alwards picked it off, makes the return, and then LA starts talking trash. You know, you have two eyes, you got one mouth. Great players keep two open and one shut, Jet. And all Chicago has to do is run out the last minute 29, and they're on their way to the Legends Cup right here in this building next week to take on Dakota Hughes, Nas Johnson, and the Atlanta Steam. Dakota Hughes, she is having such a sensational year. It would not shock me for her to go head to head with rock star Heather Furr and win the game. It'd be the most shocking game ever, but she has done it all year long. It's gonna be fun to watch them. Heather Furr having a great night. Four out of five, 66 yards, a rating of 158. All that she does is win. All right, coach, so now, Rockstar Heather Furr is the reigning league MVP. She's now beaten Ashley Salerno to go back to the Legends Cup. Can Heather Furr stake a claim to being the best quarterback in the league? Absolutely. Is she the most outstanding athlete, the most outstanding quarterback talent-wise? Not necessarily. But is she the most valuable player, the most valuable quarterback? Absolutely. Even before tonight, I've said it. I like Heather Furr. Like you said, I don't know if she's a better quarterback than Ashley Salerno. Ashley Salerno throws the ball better than Heather Byrne, but also, like you said, all she does is win. As the clock ticks down, Chicago will face Atlanta for the Legends Cup. Eddie Chan trying to get a defensive call in there. Right now, all Heather Furr has to do is take a knee. LA has pulled most of their starters, and like you said, Coach, they just have to take one more knee and they're heading to the Legends Cup. Instead, they'll hand the ball off to Chris Del Harris. She'll break into the free, into the end zone. This is interesting, Coach. Earlier in the week, Chelsea Hart said on Twitter, LA will beat Chicago 40 to 12. The score is now Chicago 40, LA 12. That does not shock me at all. There is no love loss. Chris Del Harris, the game MVP, 128 yards, incredible. 8.0 average, what a night for Chris Del Harris. But Eddie Chan, Salerno, they cannot like them running up the score. Chris Del Harris has had over 90 yards in the second half. Well deserving of the game MVP honors as Chicago runs it up on LA in their own building. Heather Furr will take a knee on the extra point just to keep it 40 to 12 to remind LA of that prediction. You gotta hand it to head coach Keith Hack. He has this team playing hot going into the Legends Cup. I don't know if Atlanta, they're their young team, if they can really handle this team, Chicago. The defending champs with Fur playing like she's playing Jet, what do you think? With what we've seen from Dakota Hughes, Nas Johnson, and the great motivational coaching from Dane Robinson, I don't put anything past that Atlanta Steam team. We'll find out right here on this field in the Legends Cup. The Western Conference Final is in the books, and there's your Western Conference champions, the Chicago Bliss. Your final score, Chicago 40, Los Angeles 12, as it dejected Ashley Salerno, it dejected Kelly Schrader, and the rest of the LA Temptation file off the field in defeat in their own building. LA, they didn't come to play tonight. They didn't bring their end game. A lot of winners on that team, but another year without a championship for the Temptation. The Chicago Bliss came to play tonight, and Allie Alberts and her teammates are dancing into the Legends Cup. LFL Football Night is produced by Connor Schofield. Our director is Brian Castaldo. Our executive producer is Mitch Mortaza. Take a bow, Chicago. You're going to the Legends Cup for the coach, Bobby Huco. I'm Chet Buchanan. Atlanta takes on Chicago for the title, the Legends Cup in one week on LFL Football Nights.